Binisita ng aming grupo noong nakaraang linggo ang Senado upang makaparayam ang isa sa mga pinakabatang senador na nahalal noong Mayo 2013 na si Senator Paulo Benigno Aquino IV o mas kilala sa tawag na Senator Bam Aquino. Si Senator Bam Aquino ay higit na kilala sa mga naipasan niyang batas tulad ng Go Negosyo Act na naglalayong palakasin ang sektor ng micro, small and medium enterprises sa pamamagitan ng pagbibigay sa sektor na ito ng mas mahusay na insentibo, benepisyo, suportang pinansyal at kaalaman sa pagtatayo ng sariling negosyo. Si Senator Bam Aquino rin ang principal sponsor at co-author ng free tuition fee sa lahat ng state universities and colleges na pinirmahan ni Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte kamakailan. At kami ay napaunlakan ng kanyang dalawang policy officer na sila Jose Escalante at Norman Qualteros para mas mabigyan ng linaw ang dalawa sa pinakakilalang batas na naipasa ni Senator Bam Aquino ating panuorin at pakinggan ang aming panayam sa kanila. So, yung Go Negosyo Act ay yung first na batas na na ipasa ni Senator Pam. Um, the vision and in based on the implementation right now, it's really based on uh, the impact is really on the micro, small, medium enterprises mm-hmm. making their business registration and other needs for the for the enterprise to grow I can be accessed to the negotio centers and second um, through linkage of the market and the supply and the, the market and the supply so meaning kung merong kang negosyo at uh, merong negosyo na naghahanap ng produkto na na pinoproduce mo mm-hmm. yung match ka through the negotio centers mm-hmm. so currently meron na tayong mga more than 600 negotio centers around the country and um, growing for it try every day. Right? When you go to a negotiation center, you should mm-hmm. be able to meet a business counselor mm-hmm. that will give you your options. Na ibig sabihin, if there are available government financing, if there are programs, or if there are private uh, financing available. So yun, your options you can discuss with a business counselor. Okay, so, so kumbaga, it's Kumbaga, it's a way for a budding entrepreneur to go uh, to have a space kung saan niya pwede hindi siya makapagtanong may magtuturo sa kanya can point her to the right office, right direction as he has win paperwork so basically, it might start off as hand-holding eventually it's gonna be network so basically, it's a negosyo center kung ikaw, interesado kang magnegosyo puta ka lang kay negosyo center Ano na lahat yun. So, from your registration, kung saan ka makaka-access ng financing, kung kailangan mo ng additional financing, additional training, additional everything that you need in order to develop your enterprise. In 2017, nagkaroon ng 8 billion pesos para mag-fund ng free tuition sa General Appropriations Act o sa national budget. Di ba, parang may nahanap si Senator Ping Lacson na 8 billion na floating money then nilagay niya to check para magkaroon ng, ano, ng free tuition. Um, iyon, uh, kaya hindi rin fully na, na, na nakocover lahat ng expenses is because uh, 8 billion lang siya. It's an uh, it's, uh, insertion from the budget. Kaya rin, it tinulak namin na magkaroon ng patas. Kaya tinulak ni Senator Bam na magkaroon ng patas. Para, kasi kapag patas na yan, meron niyang appropriations clause. So, ibig sabihin, required ng lagyan ng pera. Yung budget. Yung, yung batas na ito. So, ngayon, uh, we're currently in the, kung makikita nyo, sobrang daming tao sa baba. Yes. Kasi, uh, budget hearings kasi ngayon. So, ngayon, nidetermine kung magkano yung lalagay ng pera. Pero more or less, meron naman tayong budget na nakaabang para sa ito. Uh, contrary to popular belief, hindi naman siya sobrang laki. I mean, kaya. Kaya kung sa kaya. Um, siguro yung tuition, yung tuition in state universities and local universities and colleges, accredited Chen, by Chen, siguro mga ano lang, uh, 26 billion. Perspect- Mukha siyang malaki. Pero perspective, 
sobrang liit lang niya compared to kasi ang DepEd 5 billion yung budget nila. Uh, so 25 billion maliit lang siya. So perspective wise maliit lang din siya. Um, and ma- marami namang spaces, marami tayong fiscal space in our budget. Um, kung napansin nyo, in the past few years, um, maganda kasi yung performance ng ating ekonomiya. So, our macroeconomic uh, figures are do, uh, parang bob, naging efficient yung fiscal policies natin, yung mga financial management ng, ng gobyerno. So, nagkakaroon talaga ng space. So, yung space na yun, opportunity yun for government, for new projects, for... And now, since we all prioritize education, we decided na ilagay natin to education. Correct. Um, ito, okay, sige. So, medyo sensitive din kasi ang fake news. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. It's a thin line between opinion and hype news. Okay. So it's a, it's a very thin line between your opinion to um to what is factual to news to journalism to bloggers. So it's it's a very complicated uh, scenario. Pero ang ang clear sa atin ay ginagamit ng social media para mag propagate ng either misleading uh, f- as in outright fake or nakakasira talaga ng uh, Dignidad ng, ng, dignidad ng ibang mga tao. Mm-hmm. At hindi nga lang ng mga politiko or ng mga celebrities, but even oh, normal, normal, yeah. normal, normal people, people. di ba? And that's talagang kung idrag na lang tayo ng mga pangalan natin sa mga gantong issue, di ba? Ganun na lang. So, um, si Senator Villanueva ay nag-file ng bill to penalize uh, fake news. Um, si Senator Bang is an advocate of informing people of free speech and informing people of their rights and being responsible as an individual of what you can say. Parang lagi niya nga sinasabi sa amin na parang um, dapat ang ang demeanor, uh, dapat ang decision making mo kapag nag so social media ka ay yung mga bagay na hindi mo kayang sabihin ng harap-harapan yes, exactly. hindi mo dapat kino-comment Kinasabi. somewhere yeah. else yeah. ba kami believe na ano it's a it's a collective effort na parang it's, a, it's the social media uh, tayong users it's the it's the social media platforms and it's everyone policing everyone na kung ano ang tama at ano kung ano at so, ano yung fake at hindi may- so tulad nga ng sabi ko kanina, it's a very thin line talaga yan. Parang medyo mahirap i-balance yan when it comes to um, freedom of expression and regulating what is being released out there.